Hello everybody, it's me, Aubrey. Today I want to do a craft with you. So we are going to make these very cool pictures of a sunset with cactus because we're looking at the wild west. And so when I think of cowboys and the west, I think of cactus and sunsets like this. So are you ready to make this picture with me? All right, let's go. The first thing we're going to do, I'll show you, is make this background. So to do that, I used paints, starting with a white paper, and I have blue, red, and yellow paint. Now the best type of paint would be watercolors, the aquarellas, but I don't have them, and so I'm using regular paints, the temperas, and I put a little bit of water in there. So you can see that the paint is very liquidy. It moves a lot. So if you only have the regular paint, just add a little bit of water and then you'll have your watercolors. So to begin, I'm going to start with my yellow. I'll dip my paintbrush in here. And I'm just going to make a line across my paper. I want a stripe of yellow. Grab more paint and keep going. I want to cover about a third of my paper because I have three colors. So this is my first color and I'll get a lot of paint on there. This is a little messy, so probably do this uh, where you have some space and a table or maybe at your kitchen counter. All right, I think my yellow stripe looks good. We'll move on to red. I'm using the same paintbrush because we want the colors to mix. And I'm now going to paint a red stripe. And this is where the cool thing happens is if we mix some of the red paint with the yellow paint, we'll get a new color, it's kind of orange. So I want to get a little bit of mix with my yellow. And I'll also continue my red stripe down here. All right, cool. On to my last color. I have blue. So blue, I'm going to fill in the last part of the paper. And again, I'm just going across the paper. It's quite easy. And remember the cool part? When we mix the colors, here we go. Going to mix some of the blue with the red, and it makes kind of a purple color. Very cool. All right. And that's it. That's how you start the background of this. Now here's the trick. We have to let this dry completely. So make sure you do this where you can let your paper wait and dry because I cannot move the paper right now. It is very wet with paint. So I'm going to let this dry and then I will come back and we will continue our project and make the cactus. Do you have any questions? No? All right, I'll see you later when this is dry. Welcome back, hello. We are working again on our sunset cactus project. If you can see here, my background is dry, completely dry. So now it is time to start working on the cactus. Now, fun fact, in English, one cactus, but the plural, two cacti. So my picture here has two cacti, and I'm thinking of putting three cacti on this picture. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to use green paper. If you don't have green paper, you can use white paper and color it with green. So that is up to you. Have to think, what does a cactus look like? Well, this type of cactus is very tall and usually has one arm or two arms. Sometimes one arm is down here or one arm is up here. So really, however you want to draw your cactus, you can draw your cactus. So let's try a one cactus here. Up, here's an arm, up, Ooh, maybe another arm up here, and all the way down. All right, let's try again. Up, 
one arm up. Let's go all the way down. That guy only has one arm. Maybe another one. Up. One arm. Up. Ooh, and we'll put this second arm right there at the bottom. How's that? All right, cool. Once you have your cactus shapes, we're going to cut them out. So of course, you'll use your scissors. There's one cacti, two, and three. All right, cool. Now remember my trick? Where's the line? It's on the back. So when I go to glue my cacti onto my background, I'm going to glue on the line side, like this. Take my glue stick. Put just a bit of glue on the back. And now the lines go down. So you can't see them in my picture. Yeah. I have my cacti. There's one more step left that's pretty fun. We have to make these little spines. And to make the spines, I use something that hopefully you have in your house. I use rice. So let me show you how to do that. I don't need all of this rice, so I'm going to put a little bit here for myself. Perfect. All right. And then this will be dinner later. To put on the spines, I think cola blanda works better than the glue stick. So I'll put the glue stick, glue stick away, and I'll use my regular glue to do this. All right. This is easy. Now, remember, just a little glue. Not a lot of glue, but a little glue. And I'm going to make little spots all over my cactus. Okay. Now I have all of these spots of glue on my cacti. The last thing I need to do is drop some rice on the glue. You don't have to do this one by one. You want to sprinkle it like you're making a cake. You can let this wait just a little bit. Try to get some of that rice stuck to the glue. And then to get rid of the extra rice, I'm gonna fold the paper in and dump the rice out. Perfect. All right. And here are my three cacti in the sunset. I think this one turned out really cool. I hope yours does too. I will see you later. Bye-bye.